Hello everyone, I am Leslie Spaulding, Art and Movement Program Director from the Workhouse Art Center. Today I'm offering a Pilates stretch class, a very simple and easy set of movements that only require a yoga mat or a towel or a blanket. And so as we begin this movement, please remember there's a particular way to breathe. It's always an inhale like you're smelling a flower through your nose and an exhale through pursed lips like you're blowing out a candle. So we're gonna begin on our hands and knees. And as we make this square shape with our body, we're gonna inhale, smell the flower, and as we exhale, we're gonna round our spine in the cat, and then inhale, sway our spine in the cow. So we're gonna exhale, round in the cat, and inhale, sway into the cow. And as we do four to five of these, it's wonderful in the way that it's warming up all of our spine, warming up our shoulders, and warming up our hips. So we'll do one more set as we exhale, rounding cat, and then inhale, sway like the cow. Now sit back into shell. Shell is very similar to, to child's pose, but in Pilates, it's very much about keeping the abs and rounding the spine and breathing into the lower parts of your rib cage. Three to five breaths. Then we're gonna come up. We're gonna have a seat. We're gonna have our legs hip distance apart and flexed and reach our arms straight out. And we're gonna do our best to lengthen up tall as we inhale, smell the flower. And as we exhale, we're gonna round the spine back and then we're gonna inhale, stack up tall. This exercise, the half roll back, is excellent for your abs. You just wanna make sure you're really rounding back and then inhaling tall. Six to eight repetitions. One more time, and inhale nice and tall. Now we'll stretch our legs out, give them a shake. Then we'll stretch up tall, pull our toes back to our face, bring our legs together, reach our arms out. Maybe bend our knees just a little bit so we can sit up really tall as we inhale. And then exhale, rotate with our abs one way. Inhale center, and rotate the other way. So inhale, smell the flower, exhale, blow the candle. Inhale, smell the flower, exhale, blow the candle. One more set, make sure your shoulders are nice and down, sliding away from your ears. Exhale, blow the candle. And then we'll come back, we'll shake our legs out. Good job. And now what we're going to do is combine those two movements. So we'll do half roll back with twist. We'll inhale, grow tall. As we exhale, we'll round and rotate one way. Inhale, tall. Exhale, round and rotate the other way. So we'll do four to five sets of these. Always coming back up nice and tall in between. Really challenging our abs. And after the last rep, We'll sit tall and then we'll take a break and shake our legs. Now we're going to lie down, hug our knees to our chest, rock our hips a little bit, lift our head and our chest and really squeeze our belly. And then we're going to take our legs into tabletop and reach our arms out and we're going to do the hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more time. Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. We'll inhale, hold. We'll exhale, hug our knees, rock it out again. That's a lot of work right there. We'll let our left leg stretch out on the mat. We'll hug our right knee and we'll rotate our ankle. 
and we'll go the other way. And we'll take our right arm off to the side and we'll breathe our right leg across our body. We'll come back through the center and we'll straighten the knee and lift up with our chest and we'll do a little pointing and flexing. And then we'll inhale, bend the knee, lower our head and we'll switch as we exhale and we'll rotate our ankle and we'll go the other way. This is always my favorite part. And we'll take our left arm away and we'll breathe our left leg across our body, stretch our hip and our back. Keep breathing. And then we'll bring our leg back to the center. We'll lift up and Stretch the hamstrings a bit here as we point and flex our foot. And then we'll bend the knee, bring the other knee in, stretch one more time, and we'll roll to our side and come on up. And now we're going to come to our hands and knees. And we're gonna imagine that we have a cup of coffee right here on our low back and we don't want our cup of coffee to spill. So as we make this square shape with our body, we inhale, smell the flower, and we take our right arm and our left leg and we reach them away to the opposite sides of the room. We inhale to lower, and then we exhale, take the left arm and the right leg, reaching them. And as we keep going, we make sure that our coffee stays nice and still. This is called swimming prep. Exhale, sometimes called bird dog. So again, three to five sets as you exhale, reach. Inhale to lower and exhale, reach. Inhale to lower. We'll sit back and show. Take a little breath here while we round the spine. Breathe deep into the ribs. And then we're gonna lay down on our stomach and we're gonna do breaststroke. So we're gonna goal post our arms and we're gonna reach long through our legs and super glue our feet down onto the floor. Okay, and as we look at the mat right in front of our face, we pull our belly button away from the ground and we inhale, smell a flower. And as we exhale, we imagine we're taking a big hat off our head. And then we inhale, lift our chest a little higher as we swim the arms. So we lower down a little bit and we take the hat off our head. And then we inhale, swim with the arms. So we exhale, lower and take the hat off. We inhale, swim. We exhale, lower, take the hat off and then we inhale, swim. Exhale, lower, take the hat off, inhale, swim. And then one more time, exhale, lower, take the hat off, inhale to swim. And then we'll just relax here, we'll sit back and we'll give our body a good stretch again, breathing and show into the sides and backs of our ribs, three to five breaths. Good, and then we'll come up and we're going to do mermaid. Mermaid's a great side bending action and you're gonna position your legs so they make a letter Z. And then you'll take your fingertips to the side of you on the mat or towel. You'll inhale, float up an arm and you'll exhale, side bend. You'll inhale, stack your body, you'll float that down. You'll take the other arm and you'll exhale, side bend, and you'll inhale, float up and lower that arm. So I would do three to five sets, stacking back up, lowering down. And then as you stack back up and lower down, switch the legs, because it makes a big difference. So we'll bring the legs to the other side and we'll just sit tall with the body as we float one arm up, side bending 
and then floating the other arm up and side bending. So one more set. This is one of my favorite parts too. Nice and stretchy. Good, and after we finish that third or fifth set, we'll take our legs out, give them a shake, maybe interlace our fingers behind our back and lengthen out our chest and take a couple of deep breaths here and then release. And it would be wonderful if you did this repetitive two or three more times and that would give yourself a really great workout. And I'm so glad that you're here with me, letting me share with you some of Pilates movement. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye now.